Hello everybody, this is Coffee with Brick today, and we are on Drudge Creek, Alaska, and we are in this, I'm trying to figure out where we're at, we are in this little shelter, I feel like I'm on playing a survival game, I've never seen one on Farm Sim quite like this, this is kind of interesting, and the subject today for our coffee chat is burnout. But before we go into our coffee chat, we are going to take a look at the map. So we're going to find out where we're at first. Um, there we are. And we're in this little island. Um, that's very interesting. Um, there was another map I tried that had like, you were surrounded by water like that. But that's quite the... That's quite the adventure there. Um, <laughs> I wonder if the boat was functioning to get across because I don't know how we'd be able to get to the other side. Maybe we could swim. <laughs> so let's see what cross we have. We have wheat, barley, canola, oat, corn, soy, sunflower, soybeans, potatoes, sugar beet, sugar cane, cotton, sorghum, grapes, olive, and popular. All right, we'll see what we own. So we own 51 and 45. So I guess we don't really own that area, I guess. That's weird. Okay. So let's tab over and have a look at the farm. So we start out with a harvester, an old time tractor, and I've used that before. And the dreadful trailer that I always bump into things with or can't back up. And you get a plow, and uh, let's see, do we get anything else? Let's just have a look around here. We get a cedar, and I think, or a planter, I think, and then we get another plow. I think that's all we get. Um, so, let's see if we can get in this barn. Uh, oh! Of course, the door's off the hinge, so I don't think it opens there. Let's see if there's another door around here. Um, oh yeah, there's a door. Let's see if we can get in the door here. No? Um, okay. <laughs> um, okay, is there a door back here? Uh, where's the darn door? Um, so don't tell me this is a non-functioning barn. Uh, where are we gonna put our stuff in? Yup, it looks like there's nothing in there, so nice. All our stuff is just sitting outside. That's just such a nice thing because they're gonna get rusted. Let's go look at our, I believe we own this over here. Okay, so where's our fields? Do we own this? No, we do not. Okay, um. I own this. No, we don't own that either. Okay, where do we own? We own this field. Okay. That we own two fields, and I was trying to figure out which one. Okay, so we own this house in this barn up here, and um, it looks like we have a truck with us. Can we open the barn? No. <laughs> Oh, how are, how are we going to be able to uh, store our stuff when we don't have no, sh to put the shed or anything? Okay. So, everyone, I actually was going to ride around on a bike on this map, but I forgot to put, like, no no mods in it. I forgot to put, like, one mod. There's there's no mods in it. So, so let's get in this truck and have a look around. I do really like this truck. I do like the blue. I'm, I love the blue color. I'm, I love blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors. If you didn't know that. <laughs> so, um, let's go this way. I don't know if there's anything up here, but look at that view up there. That is just gorgeous. Okay. So the subject for the coffee chat today is burnout. So I'm gonna first talk about, um, or I'm gonna start the topic and then we'll talk more in depth in a couple minutes here so I don't want to run anything so I'm gonna change okay let's see if we can do this so um when I first started playing farm sim it was back in 2013 and I started playing with a disc I didn't have the digital farm I actually had the disc 
platform. And I actually liked it because I like to have the physical versions of the game. So I love to just stick it in my computer and start it up. That was, I, I kind of like that. That was before I realized you can actually buy the, the, <laughs> the digital form. Because I do believe you could also buy that too. But at that time, that was how I played. And I, the first map I believe I ever played on was Idaho. Idaho was a big map. Okay. So I can actually see where we're going. Was a huge map. And I played on that map for three or four months. I played on the map a long time. I was not bored of that map. That map had a lot to do. And I don't remember if it was a multi-fruit map or not, but I loved, I loved, loved, loved that map. I feel like we're like speeding through here. And I loved, I just enjoyed playing Farm Sim. It was very relaxing. I believe that's the end of the map. So we're, oh, I'm gonna try to turn around. No, I ran into a tree, no. Oh no, I hope I'm not stuck. It was very relaxing, and I, I really loved playing Farm Sim, and then I do believe the second map I played on was Serbia, if I'm right, if I'm saying the name right. And that map was, it had a few different things on it. I loved playing that map too, and I played on that map for a long time, like three or four months, and I never got bored with Farm Sim. That was the time when my kids were little, and I had a lot of time to just sit and um, play. So it looks like we're in town here. So we have an old, um, maybe like an old motel or maybe it's still functioning. I don't know. <laughs> we have some, like, uh, they look like they've been abandoned. Maybe there's nobody here. And that is so weird. Like, oh, this town. What's up there? Let's go up there and maybe chat for a second. So, um, like I said, I had kid. I think one of my kids were walking around, and my other kid was just a baby, so I had a lot of time to be able to play in between when they took naps. I played about four or five hours a day. That was quite, that was a lot, that, that was a lot to play every day, and I never got, like I said, I never got bored with it. I would just sit and play Farm Sim. It was something I really loved doing, and it relaxed me, and I loved it, and, um, that was something I loved doing. Um, every morning I would get up and watch my favorite YouTuber and um, with my coffee. And that really made my day made me really happy and just to wake up and um, be able to play Farm Sim. So uh, I've played Farm Sim 15, 17, and 19. Um, so when 19 rolled around... I didn't play much of 19 because I really actually liked, here's where you can drop off, looks like some of your, um, a cell point. I really, really liked Farm Sim 17 a lot because, I don't know, I just, I guess I didn't really give 19 a chance. I didn't play very many hours of it. I mean, I played it, but I didn't play many hours of it. But I really liked 17. 17 was a huge improvement over, um, I thought over 15, 15 was good, I love 15, but 17 was more, I thought, in depth from 15, and the graphics had improved, but still, thinking about all the times I played Farm Sim, I think I played more on 17 than I played on 15 and 19, and definitely 19 I didn't play on much. I don't even know how many hours I put into that, I would have to go back and look. <laughs> But, um, when 19 came out, I just, I, I waited and bought it a few months after it came out because, I don't know, I guess I didn't want to spend the money, and I, like I said, I guess I really, really loved, um, 17, I don't even know where a truck is at, there is. So, then, my favorite YouTuber that I've watched since 13, he was a YouTuber, like I said, I'd get up and watch him. And I'd actually play along on the maps he was playing along. Um, I think it, I played along on Iowa. 
um, Ser Serbia and um, the newbie farm, but the newbie farm was not a farm, it's not an easy, uh, a beginner farm, and it's not a newbie farm. I'm just saying, it's, it's <laughs> a little difficult, it's not, um, for the beginners, so, and I learned that. Okay, what's here? This is the sawmill. Nice, I love this sawmill. Oh, look at this. This is nice, and it's by the water. Look at that. Wow, what's that over there? I don't even know what that is over there. Um, leave this here and go and have a look as we're chatting. So I believe those were the three. There was another one I there was another one I played with along with him too. Wow. Wow that can you actually put your I wonder if your boards actually don't go down here. Probably not, but that'd be cool. What's over here? What is that up there? Oh what? <laughs> okay, so do you dump your logs in here? Ah, oh, that is, I never saw that before. That is, that is different. Okay, so what's over here? Oh, this is the train and maybe you pick up the logs from here and they go down there, maybe? That's kind of different. That is different. That's kind of cool, okay. But I actually, like I said, I played on, four maps along with him and I really enjoyed it it was really fun because like he would be playing on the map and I'd be playing on the map we didn't I didn't do the same things as what he was doing on the map but I'd play along with him you know I'd be like oh yeah I'm you know playing on the same map felt good to be able to <coughs> sorry everyone I got like old coming in to be able to <coughs> um you know, play in the same map as he was, and know that I liked that. It was fun because you know, I just I just felt like I something I enjoyed, and so um, then um, uh, my favorite YouTuber um, had pretty much stopped making uh, videos. Um, I noticed um, he would like his videos would be farther apart and then um they he just pretty much quit youtube every once in a while he'd have a video and let's go look up here what's up here he would have a video but pretty much nice a house and wow i love this barn oh my gosh look at this barn i wish we had it at our farm over there this is a huge barn i, w I don't know if it's functioning because i don't own it but Probably not, but it's beautiful. So, and let's just stand here for a couple minutes and look at the scene as I'm talking. And so, like I said, his videos were sporadically, um, you know, he'd make a video every few weeks, maybe every other month. So, and I got really, I, at that point, I just, I guess didn't feel the same about farm sim. I actually stopped playing farm sim for three or four months because I was really sad and down because I really looked forward to his videos. Um, he was one of my favorite YouTubers and um, just to see him, just see basically have him quit farm sim just kind of made me really sad and like I never got I didn't get on farm sim for like three or four months like I said or two or three months something something like that I don't remember the time scan but it was a while and and then I finally got back on farm sim but it it felt different it didn't feel the same and I and then I played for like what like a year after that and then I made my YouTube channel and I felt I really enjoyed farm sim Again, I enjoyed playing on farm sim. I enjoyed doing things. I enjoyed making videos for you guys and looking at different mods and looking at different maps. And um, that was something I really enjoyed. And you guys have made, you guys have made it very enjoyable for me to come on and just make a video and chat with you all. And I loved um, doing videos. You know, coffee with Brooke. It's you know, I I like that part of making a video. That. I, I usually make a coffee with chat video like at least once a week or maybe two times a week. So it depends on if I find a subject. <laughs> and sometimes it's hard to make a subject, honestly. But um, it, it was last no October, November, I started feeling a form of burnout. Like 
I'd get on the farm sim and I didn't feel that joy anymore. I didn't feel like I really wanted to play in farm sim. I would get on there, start a map, and I'd be like, I can't play in this. I, I can't do this map again. And then I'd hop and try another map. And it just, it felt that same I felt that same feeling I felt when my favorite YouTuber um, left far left YouTube and didn't make videos anymore. I felt that like I wasn't enjoying it, and um, I wanted to talk about this subject for a really long time, but it I didn't I didn't want to bring it up. I try not to bring up, you know, I don't know. I just didn't want you guys to like. I don't know, I just didn't want to tell you guys about it because I thought the feeling would go away and it hasn't and it's been weeks and months and gradually recently it started, recently I started liking Farm Sim again and then it happened again where I couldn't, I guess I've been really busy and then when I want to go on and play again I just, I can't get on to play in a map. I'll start a map and I just don't feel that joy that I used to be like when I used to play. Um, and I, you know, and I, I started to cry because I, I didn't want to tell you guys about this. You are, you guys are always so nice to me. You guys are always so nice and kind and I didn't want to tell you about it because my channel's built around farm sim and it, it's really hard to want to talk about this subject because I didn't feel ashamed about it, but I felt like I didn't want to tell you guys about it because I don't know if anybody else felt that way or if it if it just wasn't the same. Maybe it's because I'm so busy I don't have time to sit and enjoy Farm Sim. And my daughter came up to me and says, Hey mom, I got this game I want you to play. And I'm like, no, I don't want to play that game. Because I know what game she wanted me to play. And it's a horror game. And I was like, no, I don't want to play that game. No, no, thank you. And she goes, please, mom, please. So apparently I bought the game. And um, um, I kind of like the game. Um, and that was hard for me to say. Because let me, let me think if I remember the name of the game. It's back rooms I think I think it's back rooms so it's kind of like you have to try to escape um this area and there's monsters and um the first time I well seen a monster it scared me to death I literally jumped out of my seat and I thought that I was going I thought I actually thought I was gonna fall off the chair <laughs> but my daughter my, da my daughter brought something up to me, and I come back to the fact that um, there's other games out there besides Farm Sim. And she says, Mommy, if you enjoy playing other games, y you should put them on your channel. And I have been putting, uh, been doing a few different games here and there just to break up the, um, the burnout for me. Um, just so I have, like, it gets me to, you know, I still do farm sim content. My channel will always be, be about farm sim. But I, I truly honestly believe that we truly can get burned out from a game. We truly can stop enjoying a game because we play it all the time. And it's okay to like another game. It's, it's okay. And I guess that... I I didn't want that to be like that. I, I wanted to always love Farm Sim. I always wanted to enjoy Farm Sim. And just until recently, I'm realizing there's other games out there to enjoy and love. And it's okay. And, you know, and it was, I was truly sad when my favorite YouTuber quit being on YouTube. But, you know, we, life moves on and... You know, other things we get busy and other things, you know, happen and and it's okay. And, you know, and I just, I wanted to chat about that because, but it makes me cry because I always 
will love farm sim i will always have farm sim content on my channel i always will look at new maps or always play in farm sim but i also wanted to tell you guys i enjoy other games i've been just enjoying the last two days sitting down and playing this little free game on on steam of it's a it's like these hidden bees <laughs> and it was fun just look around to finding all these bees and these little paintings and it just relaxed me more than farm sim did and then i played this other puzzle game i don't remember the name of it but it's like a traffic game and you kind of have to control traffic without hitting other traffic and that was really enjoyable for me and i want to know like do you guys play other games besides farm sim do you or farm sims your only game you play um i'm actually looking forward to the new farm sim i have no expectations of of you know what will um you know what will um be new on farm sim i just want to be able to get back to loving farm sim and enjoying farm sim not feeling like i have to get on farm sim which i feel like that sometimes i have to do and that's that's really not enjoyable. If you don't enjoy a game, you shouldn't, you know, you should enjoy, enjoy the game you enjoy playing without feeling like you dread it. I guess that's the thing. And I guess there really is such thing as being burned out on a game. And, um, so everyone, um, um, this is the dreaded chat I didn't want to chat about because I didn't want people to know about it because I feel I feel really sad about it really. I really do. I really I really always enjoyed farm sim. I really did until around last year when I started feeling that I don't feel like I want to get on and play farm sim anymore except to get on to make a video for YouTube and that really made me sad. That did um um, and I also have one more dreaded, um, um, something to tell you guys. My son's favorite fish, he has this paradise fish, it passed away, um, like, a couple of days ago, and it just makes me really sad because he's had that fish for quite a while. He's had it for over a year, and that fish had so much personality, he'd get mad at you, like, he not flare because he's in the family of bettas, um, the paratized fishes, and they're one of the easiest fish to take care of, and he would flare at you, like, literally, his colors would change when he would get really upset at you. He would be, like, a p really dark peach color, and then he'd turn bluish, his fins, and I just, I love that guy, and my son switched his tank to a bigger tank, and he must have jumped out, and, um, we couldn't find him, and, you know, it's, it's been a really hard year for losing pets. We've lost a lot of pets, and that is really, really hard to handle. And I think after all our pets are, or at least my pet, pass away, I don't believe that I'll be getting any more pets. Um, I was thinking about getting maybe quail or something just for, um, you know, having... Um, some little pets that give, like, a product, like, uh, eggs or something, but I don't know if I'll, <laughs> if I'll do that, but I'd really love to get some quail, some little button quail, because they lay eggs, and, but I don't think I want to get chickens again, or get chickens. <laughs> that being said, <laughs> my family has chickens, and growing up, we had chickens, a few chickens, and, um, I just don't like the smell of them. They, they stink. <laughs> um, so, that being said, um, I thank you for um, having coffee with me today. Coffee chat with me. And I do believe I will be playing Farm Sim still. I, I will be playing Farm Sim still on my channel, so don't worry about that. I will be maybe um, rotating games on my channel if I can find... If it, maybe you guys can... Um, Tell me about maybe a game that you would like me to play on my channel that's fun. Maybe still about farming or maybe a totally different game. Maybe you'd like to see a game, play a game on my channel different. Maybe we can um, start.
start a new journey with a different game. But I love to still play Farm Sim, but rotate games around that way. Maybe um, it'll be more enjoyable to go on Farm Sim. You know, we could do, you know, I'm still going to go back to Ravenport. I need to do the, I need to work on more of my binge series, so maybe we'll do that. Um, do a different series or whatnot. So thank you everyone for joining me. Um, please like and subscribe. I hopefully won't have a sad, dreaded chat like this again. <laughs> Until next time, this is Brooke on Grudge Creek, Alaska. Never been to Alaska, but we now have. <laughs> I hope you have a good week and talk to you soon. <laughs>